Hi guys, welcome back to the Aquatics video blog, Sean here again. Okay, a question that we've been asked a few times now, so I thought I would give you a little bit more of an in-depth explanation, is why we have chosen aluminium as the main body material for the new Aquatics Aqualumi. Simple, really. It's so that we can get into this unit and fix anything that may ever go wrong. A lot of the other units that have been available in this style for many years, the, the dual units, the Aqua One, Aqualantis, uh, the D&D, &D, uh, the Fluval, the, the list is endless of this style of unit that have all used a moulded plastic encasement. So if you just bear with me a second, here we have a dual unit. Okay, and as you can see, it's the moulded plastic encasement. Now. We started developing this because of conversations that we've had with you guys over the last couple of years who have this unit and when something goes wrong, uh, it's inevitable from time to time that a ballast will fail. Fixing them is a real, real issue. There's no natural way to get into this unit to repair what is inside. So we took that on board and we made this from aluminium and we've made it accessible. So if something does go wrong, there's no butchery or DIY or you know cutting the lid off, cutting holes in it, re-silicon, gaffer tape. I've, I've seen all sorts of, of efforts to replace ballast in this. And the issue you have once that happens, A, you've lost the aesthetics, you know, having a big piece of gaffer tape or silicon or what, whatever it may be on the top, it looks pretty unsightly. And you're not 100% certain that it's waterproof and it's safe. So we've made this, 100% accessible. Every part inside and out is totally replaceable. So it gives you the peace of mind that if something does go wrong, you've not got to start cutting holes in this, which often results in something that looks like this. This is one that a customer sent in to us for us to repair, but you know, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do when it gets to sort of this stage. Um, the lid's been cut off. The plan was to, to re-silicon the lid back in and then gaffer tape it. It, it just looks unsightly. So, peace of mind, longevity, and the fact that every single part of this is repairable or replaceable, meaning that it's a light unit that's going to withstand the test of time. If something does go wrong, it's a new ballast or a new connector or a new end cap, whatever it may be, it's nothing that can't be sorted. Whereas with these, you're looking at 100 pounds plus for a brand new light unit. So if you have any further questions about the Universal, its construction, what it's made of, please feel free to get in touch. You know, the usual means, telephone, email, live chat on the website, or any of the usual social media networks. We'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again soon.